I am La Prince of Beach Stool! Oh! Hello, sir! Would you like a cupcake? <laughs> Just kidding. What's up, my little cherry bombs? This is the Cherry Bomber here, and welcome back to another episode of Super Paper Mario. Man, it's been a while. Um, I'm finally off my hiatus, thank good lord. Um, <laughs> I'm finally off my hiatus. Um, uh, videos will be more frequent, finally. Um, I've literally been playing nothing but Super Mario Odyssey uh, these past few weeks, and uh, yeah. Whew. And uh, I almost just broke my Nintendo Switch before recording this. I didn't find the park pillar yet. I'm a dingus. Anyway, so yes. Yeah, this episode is gonna be about. Oh man. So last episode, we completed chapter two. Yay! And in this episode, we're gonna get started with chapter three, or at least find the heart pillar and then go to chapter three. Cause good lord, Lou. It's gonna want it. And I, and I, I do deeply apologize for that. Um, I didn't want it to be as long as it was, um, or as long as the hiatus was. Um, but uh, you don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> I, uh, I'm back, everybody. Sorry if I'm... Sorry if it seems like I'm, like, panting her right now. I'm sweating so hard right now because literally I've just been moving around, getting all the cables set up, and, um... Also, yet again, as I said, I almost just broke my Nintendo Switch. Um, <laughs> if you're wondering how, I... So while I was, uh, getting all the cables set up, I was, uh... A dingus, and I tripped over the cable connecting to, um, uh, from the switch dock to the TV, and it knocked the dock off the, um, it knocked the entire dock with the switch in it, um, off the shelf. So, and the switch just, like, slid out, and I was like, oh god! So, yeah, I'm a little tense and stressed out right now. Um... Because I almost just broke one of my most prized possessions. Fantastic! But anyway, if you've been following me, and you go down here, and you slim in 3D, the slip between the cracks, and there it is. Our third heart pillar. Mario, let's do the honors. I said let's do the honors. Yellow. <laughs> Hello, yellow. Alright, so with that out of the way, guys, we have finally unlocked the, uh, the door to chapter 3. By far one of my favorite chapters in this game, if not my favorite in this game. Even though that I, even though I don't necessarily like the color yellow, I still really like this chapter. Alright, get ready, guys, where we're about to go. Somewhere a little retro. Let's head in. Mario and his new friends open the door, unsure of what they would find. All the while, Merle's words about finding the other two heroes rang in their minds. Were these other heroes somewhere in this new world? If not, where? Meanwhile, the creeping void grew larger in the skies above Flipside. The hopes of all worlds rested in the heroes finding the next pure hearts. Chapter 3, 2, 1. When Geeks Attack. Yep! 
It is an entirely pixelated world, otherwise known as the Bitlands. So this is where that door leads. I suppose the next pure heart must be nearby. That's odd. I can feel it nearby, but where could it be? Well, I'm- Ah! <laughs> I did the goal! I got a super rare pixelated butterfly! My friends at Digibutter and Nerd are going to freeze when they get a word of this fine. I must bring it home. I can't miss this week's episode of the Grotus Chronicles. No way am I going to entrust my digital record now to tape an episode so epic. This is so high technical! Rip. Whoa! A kidnapping? Oh, the despair! The awful spectacle of it all! The shocking scene occurred right before my very own tender eyes. Well, I guess it's a wrap for that pixel. Now that that freak Francis has got her. Welcome to the Bitlands! And who was this mysterious voice rustling through the bushes? Whoa! Who's this guy? A friend of the butterfly girl that got nabbed? Well, that's a pity. That geek that grabbed her? Francis. Basically the nerd to end all nerds. Plus, he's got this thing for butterflies and, well, all things nerdy, too. If he gets his sweaty mitts on something he likes, there's no getting it back. He collects stuff and keeps it in his bag, big fantasy fortress. It's like a geek paradise. Whoa now, you want to know where Fort Francis is? Well, if you go all the way down ahead for miles and miles, you'll find it. You're not thinking of infiltrating the nerd lair and rescuing her, are you? Look, nobody likes having their butterfly kidnapped by a geek, but it's dangerous. Still set on it, eh? What a tender moment. I think I got something in my eye here. Listen, let me give you some travel tips. You listening? Good. All I got for you is three critical tips. You remember all of them. Here's your first tip. A bunch of no-class jerks are hauled up in the ca in this castle bed. It ain't gonna be easy getting past them, but here's the juice. It's an old castle. You do your thing with a red X mark, and maybe something will happen for you. Now for my second tip. If you somehow pass those clowns in the castle, you'll see an ocean. Can't miss it. A scary sea monster lives there. That beast is huge and cranky. But if you toast its red flipper thing, something good is bound to happen. And here's the last tip. Once you swim your way through that ocean, you'll see a humongous tree. There's a huge gorge on the other side, and there's no jumping across it. Look for the red wind and do something with it. Then you can get across. Get all that... Good. You be careful now. If by some crazy chance you do save her, come back and tell me how you did it. Thank you. Odd pixel that will not give up his name, even though I know the name of that pixel because I've played this game a hundred billion times, so I think that I will not spoil his name for you until after we beat chapter three. Mwahaha, I am so evil. Okay. So, um, Turley Leaf. I guess we can grab that. So welcome to the Bitlands! By far one of the coolest uh, worlds in this game. Like, seriously, it's really awesome. Um, okay. So, so we'll, we will go up here. I'm so used to the um, color splash controls and how low you jump in color splash. But anyway. Let's go in this door here. Let's see what we can find. Oh, there's an item in the background, a mysterious item. Oh, what could it be? I don't know. What I do know is that we can go in dimensions, or flipping between dimensions, or something or other. I don't care. Okay, um. You get up there somehow, I don't remember how. Oh, I think I know. I think you need to teach, and then you can float across. Yeah! 
You really gotta know the physics of this game to really understand how this works. Okay, so now we are in the background once again. Kinda sucks how we have to jump uh, over these pixels. Like, I know it's realistic, but like, come on. You, can't, you couldn't just like make them hills where you just like automatically walk up them like stairs or something. So that's a catch card SP. It's a card that captures a foe's soul. It almost always works. Now, let me get rid of the turtley leaf, I don't need it. Uh, if you're wondering what the turtley leaf does, it just ups defense. Um, nothing too crucial there. Um, however! However! The catch card SP, one of the coolest items in this game by far. You will use it soon, and you don't have to worry about it being in another episode or anything. Oh! Megastar! You don't have to worry about the soon being another episode. It will come in this level. Um, but first, we are super gigant, gigantic Mega Peach. And I'm pretty sure you expected one of these to happen, considering everything's all 8-bit. Uh, and your giant form is 8-bit, so I'm pretty sure uh, you all guessed it. But anyway, I don't know why I didn't change into Mario, considering that it would be a little bit more fitting. Um... But I guess pickers can't be choosers. Alright, so... Hello! Oh, boy. We're in for it now. We're in it for it now. Oh, God. Yep. Your eyes are not deceiving you. Hey, guys. How about... Let's say that we should run for it. Oh, goodness gravy. Oh, my gosh. Ah! All right. Well, two can play at that game, mister. Ha-ha! Who's funny now? ha <laughs> ha I will now crush all of you. All of you. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So, we have a block and a sign. Just a weird, just, just a sign. Let's read the sign. Hmm. Backwards. I wonder what it says. Maybe you guys can... Go back in the video and or, how about you try to read it for yourself? Okay. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. So you're probably wondering to yourself, alright, so now we have an objective because the sign actually does tell us what to do. If you pause the video and actually read it, or read it when I was saying it. Um Actually, I'm very confused. Where are we? Oh, right. We're walking back from the destruction of Pixel Peach! Hello! Goodbye. Um, I believe this is a callback to, um, the original Super Mario Brothers, uh, I believe 8-1 or something like that. It was one of the World 8 levels. Okay, so now we're back here at the lab. Um, now we have an objective on what to do. Um, we have mysterious red pipes. And we have a new enemy! A Magic Koopa! If Tippy will- Oh! Right. I completely forgot that Tippy was stolen by the nerd to end all nerds. So I was pointing my Wii remote at the screen like an idiot. Ho! Oh. Ha! He! Ho! Oh. Ha! Yeah. Don't keep walking. This guy! This jerk! Okay. Let's get out the cash card SP. Boom! So now we have a capture card. <laughs> now we have a catch card, not a capture card, for that enemy. 
And as I said, it almost always worked. Um, okay, so don't whatever you do Don't whatever you do touch that black cursia that we just that we just got the card of. Because if you do, that will send you all the way back to flip side. I'm not even joking. If you touch him, you will be sent all the way back. It's not fun. Speaking of catch cards, we have a Brana Blank card. Um, all right, let's go. Uh, yeah, so Black Cursia. Uh, if you touch it, it is actually um one of varied enemies. Um, there are more than one Cursia. Um, and that one, the black one, will send you all the way back to Flipside when you touch it, and we'll get into the other colors later. But, if you read that sign backwards, it says, fall in between the two red pipes. Let's go. Now, if you've played the original Super Mario Brothers, this might- What is with me today? This might look a little familiar to you. I'm not gonna get to those problems. Yep, that's right. This is a, a recreation of World 1-2 from the original Super Mario Brothers. I love this callback so much. And it's interesting to see because when you flip into 3D, you can actually see what 1-2 would look like if it was in three dimensions. And I think that's absolutely incredible, and I love that. Absolutely love it. Uh, whoa. Let's go. This pit looks uncrossable, but when you flip into 2D, it's incredible. So. Something also a little bit interesting is that in the original Super Mario Brothers, you couldn't see that there was actually a pipe there all this time. Wow. For 30 plus years, we never knew that there was actually a pipe leading into a secret room like this in the original game. Okay, there obviously isn't. This was just added for this game. But, that is still pretty cool how they uh, added like a little secret just to be like, Aha! This was in the original game, but you just couldn't see it because it was in another dimension! 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 See, I'm adding my own echoes so that uh, future Ian doesn't have to um, spend time editing echoes into my voice because he's lazy. Look, man, I'm just I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> So, yes, Warp Zone. There actually is Warp Zone in this. And you actually want to take it. Um, don't go in the normal entrance. Uh, it's a little worse. Um, and what people might, or what you might suggest, go to World 4, actually go to World 3. The middle pipe is actually the most effective pipe um, in doing this. You come out right here, there's a save block in case you want to save, and just head to the right. You notice, New enemies, uh, I forget what they're called, but <laughs> I'm gonna play a soccer. Halt! Yeah, you! This is Bowser's castle! And his burliness doesn't like chumps like you geeking up the place. You're about to get a complimentary nose job, courtesy of my shell. I don't want to have anything to do with your nose job. Come on out, fellas! Yeah! Well, I don't know why they sounded like Toad. But... Come and get some! Oh man, I'm... Well, I get... Can I say what I was going to say? Bullet Bill Launchers, Hammer Bros. There we go. Alright, so if you remember what that odd random pixel was talking about... Big old castle, there's a red X. You can just barely see there's cracks in it, so we're gonna need to blow it up with Boomer. Goodbye, Bowser's Castle. Yow! Please tell me someone didn't just blow up my awesome lair. Hey! I know that stash from somewhere. Mario! And Princess Peach? Why do you always have to do that? 
That's like the hundredth time you've shown up at my castle and screwed everything up! Mark! I thought he would- I thought there would be a sound clip. But yes, he traps us in our pixelated walls. But now you've entered a fortress of pain, Mario! No more sequels! It's gonna end right here, right now, once and for all! Oh, will it? So, you might be wondering... You cannot jump on Bowser. Hi, Peach. You cannot jump on Bowser. In fact, you have to use Boomer to hurt him. <laughs> Boomer to hurt him. He has 20 HP, or uh, 25, I think. So you need to hit him with Boomer about four or five times. Um, bam. That's three. His fire will automatically explode Boomer, um, as you would think. He can jump away from Boomer, as you just saw there. Okay, four times, so he does a 28. No, I hate Mario. It's not fair. Mario! Are you okay? Ah, uh, Princess Peach. My lovely wife. Your wife? What? Are you kidding me? How could you forget our big day? That sham was not a wedding. What are you doing here anyway, Bowser? How should I know? I was locked up in Count, in Count Blank's stupid castle. When all of a sudden, bam! Me and the minions wake up face down in this field. Then we found this awesome castle and I thought, why not make myself a lair? Well, you see, Bowser, we really need your help. Why don't you come with us? Wait, what? Black got us married just so he can make a chaos heart that he could destroy the world? Yes, and that is why we need you to help us find the pure hearts. No, I don't want to. I think about it if I was for you. Bleh. I think about it if it was for you, but there's no way I'm helping Mario. We don't have time for you to be a big baby about this. Come on, Bowser, please. But, but I'm Bowser! I'm grade A, 100% prime cut final boss! I'm gonna take over the world any day now! No way am I helping Mario! He's always trashing my awesome plans! Please, for me? No, I don't want. What do you say? If the world ends, there's not gonna be any world for me to rule? And what will happen to your poor minions who were caught by Count Black? They've been brainwashed. Now they do his evil bidding, not your evil bidding. Now your minions will have to toil under a different cruel and merciless master. But, but, why you? <laughs> Fine! I'll join your stupid quest. You happy? Oh, thank you, Bowser. You're so sweet. No, I am not sweet, and I'm not helping Mario just to save a bunch of worlds. I'm only doing it so I can rule someday, so don't get all cuddly with me, Mario. All right, Bowser, you big sweetie. Bowser joined your party. When controlling Bowser, press down on the D-pad to breathe fire on your enemies. His breath is ferocious, so use it to drop any enemy that stands in your way. Lord Bowser! Your crabbiness! Are you leaving us? What? Oh, yeah, minions! Then hold down the fort until I return. Your lair is safe with us, sir! Oh, sir, it seems like Count Black has brainwashed some of your local hench people. We're probably going to be forced to attack you, so feel free to dole out punishment! Of course we would love to come along and defend you, but... You know, we just, uh, get in the way, your highnessness. Clobber that can for us. Yeah, anyone who wears a cape and a monocle is just begging for a beating. Long live King Bowser! Will this do your shrillness? Party! Oh, you guys. Fine, come on, let's get your stupid precious heart or whatever you call it. 
Focus and moving! Yep, that's right. We can play as Bowser in this game. Wow. Yeah, you thought this game couldn't get any better. But, however, that is our last playable character for a long while. But, with unlocking Bowser and completing the Bitlands, I'm going to end this episode off here. Thank you so much for watching. And next time on Super Mario, we're going to see just what that giant, vast ocean that Pixel was talking about. See you guys then.